Hey y'all, welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're true. So today I'm going to be showing you how I made this TikTok inspired corn on the cob recipe. I believe they called it a uh, corn on the cob ribs. But anyway, it came out so good, very, very tasty. So if you would like to see how I put this meal together, then keep on watching. Okay, for my cheese topping, I decided to use the Mexican four cheese blend. Then I'm using uh, the bird's eye sweet corn on the cob. Also, I have some garlic and herb butter. Then also I'm gonna be using some regular butter. Then I have some sriracha. Also, I'm gonna be using honey. And then I'm, I'm using parsley. You can use fresh parsley um, if you choose. And then also I'm going to be adding some um, Obey to this, as well as some um, garlic powder. I don't have my label on there. And then I'm going to add some onion powder. So now with our corn on the cob, the goal is to cut this in half. And y'all, when I tell you it was a struggle, it was a struggle. And this is why I ended up with three halves and the rest of them in pieces. But in any case, we're gonna um, make it do what it do. So now in my frying pan, what I'm doing here is I'm melting the regular butter. And so now while the butter is melting, I'm just going to go in and mix all my dry ingredients starting with my uh parsley flakes and y'all it's no particular order you can go you go and you can you know go in any order you want as well as use the seasonings of your choice um actually i believe i deviated from the original TikTok recipe y'all forgive the uh noise in the background it's new york for you and so now i'm just going in and um i'm just eyeballing it at this point Okay, so now I'm following it up with my Old Bay. And again, I don't have any measurements. I'm just eyeballing it and trying to season it to my uh, taste. And now I'm just adding some onion powder. And then I'm going in with my garlic powder. Okay, so now that I have all my dry ingredients in the bowl, the butter is finally melted, so I'm just going to add that in the same bowl, and we're gonna just mix that. And then fam, make sure you monitor your butter. Don't walk away and let it burn. We don't want it to burn, we just want it to melt. And so now, um, you see me with the spoon, I'm just going in and mixing up the ingredients real well, making sure this is nice and blended. Okay, so now with our um, butter marinade ready, we're going to pour this all over our corn. And it's okay if you don't get it in the first pour. We're gonna take our spoon, we're gonna go back in with the spoon and scoop up some of the butter and then just cover the uh, parts that we missed. But y'all, doesn't that look good? Come on, isn't that mouth watering? And so this is my second time making this recipe. So as I said, it's really, really good. So now that I have everything covered, I have my oven preheated 400 degrees. So we're gonna pop this in and let this cook for about 20 minutes. Alrighty, so now our corn has been cooking now for about 10 minutes. So what I'd like to do is just go in and scoop up some of the butter and just kind of like um, baste the corn and so um, you see that I'm trying to I'm struggling trying to do this with one hand but um yeah you can flip it over or use two hands and just scoop it up but yeah we're gonna mix up mix our corn really really good 
and then we're going to pop this back in the oven for an additional 10 minutes and then while that's cooking further we're going to get started on our um our garlic butter sauce okay so now to the same frying pan as you see i have my garlic butter and you see all the herbs in there and so i'm just going in and scraping up all that butter because butter is very expensive we don't want to waste any food around here so just get everything in the pan and then the same process we're going to just allow this to uh, melt and then just have your fire on like um a, a medium low closer to low flame because again you don't want it to burn and so now using the same process we did with the uh the first butter mixture i'm going in now but this time we're going to add our mix our wet ingredients so starting with my honey um i don't have any measurement amount i'm just eyeballing it but this is about if i if i would have to guess about maybe like a a quarter cup of honey and now i'm going in with my sriracha and you can use whatever type of um, hot sauce you like or if you don't if you prefer not to have hot sauce you don't have to um so again with my spoon i'm just mixing everything blend 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 incorporate incorporate Alrighty, so now the butter is ready. So we're just going to add that to this bowl. And then the same process, we're just, just going to uh, mix it. And at this point, you can taste it if you want to make any adjustments. And as you see, um, I wanted my consistency a little thicker. So I'm going to go back in and add just a, a tad bit honey, more honey. But again, just um, make it your own. But it smells really amazing. So now see, I'm just adding a, maybe like another teaspoon of honey and I'm mixing it around. All right, y'all. So after baking in the oven for an additional eight minutes, I removed my corn. And y'all look how it looks, so delicious. Nice and sizzling and mmm. Woo, my mouth is watering as usual. Yeah, so just giving y'all a little close up. Mmm. Okay, so now the next thing that I'm going to do is add my cheese. And so once I have the cheese added, I'm going to pop it back in the oven and then let it cook for another two minutes. And that's just to uh, give the uh, cheese the opportunity to melt. Alrighty, so two minutes later, this is what we have. Our, what do they call it on TikTok? Um, rib corn. <laughs> anyway, y'all, look at this. It looks so, so, so appetizing. So now I'm going in with my garlic hot sauce and um, garlic butter hot sauce and honey glaze or mixture and i'm just drizzling it all over this delicious corn you all when i tell you this corn was so good it was so good and i did end up at the end sprinkling some salt on it <clears throat> and uh, that really really made it pop but it's so good um and also i just want to take this time out while i'm drizzling this butter on the corn to uh, shout out my um returning family members as well as the new ones and then i also want to especially shout out the staff at wellness of the people uh they are an organization that does wonderful work uh with the youth and you know the youth of our, are our future so definitely i applaud them i want to give a shout out to them and i'll uh, link their website um information below and if you're in you know new york and uh yeah you have a teen in need you know look them up okay so i decided to uh pair our corn with some baked beans as well as roasted chicken 
uh, for the roasted chicken. I do have a video or two out there. I'll try to attach it to this video where I can show you how I bake this chicken in the air fryer. And then uh, my baked beans, I actually have a new video uh, coming up to show you how I bake my beans with um, sausage. But uh, yeah, so this is what's for dinner tonight. So family, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share, like, comment below. And I look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Bye.